lived in Mushi, the farmer, the house they gave to him in Mushi. Where I live, I can't stay there for one night. If it's stolen, your money perishes with you. Do you understand me? If you're not living righteously, your money perishes with you. Who cares? Whatever God wants to do, he will accomplish it. But let all these idiots shut their mouth. And stop poking nose at what they don't understand. And stop de- trying to destroy those who are stronger, mightier, and more righteous than they are. Three Welcome to the moment of truth. It's Thursday today, 5th of September, 2024. You just heard Tunde Bakari. He's going to be telling us how Adeboye and um, Kumuyi made their ill-gotten money. He told us Adeboye was living in a room in Moshin with all his children. He was a lecturer. He was poor. He had no money. And he came in contact with an illiterate man, Mr. With all respect, Pa Akindayomi, and used his uh, ex- uh, educational exposure to manipulate the man to to take over the ministry after he passed on. You know, how he started the manipulation, I've done a video about it. Uh, pa Sa Adiola Elliot told us, so it is in that video. He started his, the, the, the manipulation by inviting the man to Kenneth again church in the USA, the man has never traveled before. The man doesn't understand English. He said he will translate. So he started exposing the man. What other uh, ministers in his church cannot do? He started doing all these things, little by little, until he entered the man. So, Pakida, I mean, I say God told him that Adeboye will take over from him. And here is where Everybody here today, we saw the manipulation. Um, Kumuyi, on the other hand, he was also poor. <laughs> he, he was looking for money to make it in life. All of them, they used their educational background to lure people into the destruction. They lure the whole church into till today. Let's hear from Tude Bakari, the man that got big mouth. Because he actually came in their defense. Stay tuned to the end. Scriptures and I will close to send the concubines and their sons out of the church. Habakkuk chapter 1, verses 12 and 13. Habakkuk 1, 12 and 13. Are you not from a Asking, O Lord my God, my Holy One, we shall not die. O Lord, you have appointed them for judgment. Who are they? You will find out. O Rock, you have marked them for correction. You have purer eyes than to behold evil and cannot look on wickedness. Why do you look on those who deal treacherously and hold your tongue when the wicked divorce a person more righteous? than he is a question he will answer it himself why will you devour a man more righteous than you you know somebody came to me and said look at this tape by pastor Deboye. he said those who not pay tight we not go to heaven what do you say i said play the whole tape from the beginning let me hear all because that might be a statement within statement that is explained before he finishes. Why do you take one? Play out! Pastor Deboye needs time to make a name. Where were you when those men were selling their all? I was a living witness. Where he lived in Mushi, the farmer, the house they gave to him in Mushi. Where I live, I can't stay there for one night. And when he moved to the camp, I was there. It was bare floor, no carpet, no nothing. I remember the day they were driving his only car that entered into a gorge. 
and was flooded. He was coming to my chambers to dedicate the chambers that day. His car was completely flooded. He had to look for somebody else to bring him. Were you there when Pastor Kumui sold his only car to make, to print tracks that we will send to Ghana? And it was being picked before there was Okada. It was being picked from motorcycle in his house to come. What betides you if you touch such men? Because you don't understand God is the one lifting them up. I'm not supporting excesses in the church. But I'm saying a servant will rise or fall to his master. Who makes you a judge in the matter? Look at the accent. You can't even sustain one marriage. Psalm 50, Psalm 50, verse number 16, Psalm 50, verse 16 to 23. But to the wicked God says, what right have you to declare my status or to take my covenant in your mouth? Seeing you hate instruction and cast my words behind you. When you saw a thief, you consented with him. You have been a partaker with adulterers. You give your mouth to evil and your tongue frames the seat. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things you have done and I kept silent about that Kedajo. You thought that I was altogether like you. But I will rebuke you and set them in order before your eyes. Now consider this. You will forget God. Lest I tear you in pieces and there be none to deliver. Now you heard how Tunebakare was manipulating the Bible. See the reason he gave for all these men to be making the people of God, to come to the pulpit to make themselves rich. See the reason he gave. If God truly called them, will he not equip them? Will he not bless them? The people Jesus, the people that follow Jesus in the Bible, he asked his disciples. He said, since I said to you, did you lack anything? They said, no. When prophets other though he said in the video I posted two days ago that God told him that he does not know to the Bakare from day one. To the Bakare is an enemy of God. So when all these prophets say something about all this to your papa, you will be, you say they are fake prophet. What, what do you say now about what to the Bakare just said? Let's hear from another fake prophet that is in defense of all this evil. Baba, stay tuned to the end. So somebody can lay hands on you for what? Wisdom. When you meet men who carry it, wisdom is transferable. A table you laid hands on Oedipo for wisdom. Oedipo laid hands on me for wisdom. So when he say carry of wisdom, he can lay hands on you. Bah! You people don't pray in another realm. Are you getting what I'm talking about? When God called Oedipo, my mentor and your grandfather, into a ministry, God said to him, go in the order of this man. If you watch a table, he does not shout, but he has the biggest result. He's not a noise maker, but he's a news maker. But he's not noisy, but his result is very challenging. That man is an epitome of wisdom. It's an embodiment of what? And God said, This is the man that will lay hands on you. When they got boldness from from my bishop, I said, And then it's missing the order of Kenneth Hagen, but got wisdom from a table here. Are you going to have seen now? And I got the same wisdom from Oedipo. Are you going to have talking about? So somebody can lay hands on you for what? Wisdom. When you meet men who carry it. What David Ibiobe calls wisdom is actually manipulation. Manipulation. Deception. And we all see where we are today. And you will see how they are running to Adeboye for wisdom. Because he made the influence. He achieved his goals. He has it all. The Bible says, Woe unto you when your king is a child. You see your pastors on the pulpit. You see all of them. You see their mindset. You see the way they talk. Nothing in their skull. You engage transformation. It's not a gift. It's a reward. A reward for pressing. A reward for insisting. I remember buying the book, The Mandate the Living Faith Manual, and buying a few other books because I wanted to learn church administration from people who God had helped to run 
ministries at a very effective way. You understand? God is able to give every seed another body. You sow what you reap, but there are times you can sow more than what you reap. You can sow pain and not reap more pain. You will reap joy. The season has changed because God can give every seed another body. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. My still you just heard him all. They've been telling you their secrets by, by their self. It's only because you people are not listening. They will say God called them. So when God called you, did God not give you an instruction? Why must you go to Oyedepo ministry to buy Oyedepo's home mind dates to run your own ministry if God truly called you? Now you see why everybody is running up and down. You see why all behave in a certain manner. You see where their wisdom comes from. And only for one thing, oh, to steal, oh, to kill, oh, and to destroy, oh, they have nothing good to offer you. Oh. Stay tuned and hear more. Any of your friend is a reflection of your character. Don't call anybody your friend for nothing. How? Do you share common values? Please be choosing. I have been highly choosing in my association. A friend of mine said, I made friends so cheaply. And I caught them off so neatly. The women were not going the same direction, my friend. You heard the depo, he's not lying, no. <laughs> your friend reflects your character. You remember George Izua? He was with Oye Depo. The money was too small. He didn't get access. I posted a video about it. Then he went to NHL. So he's now a son to NHL. And NHL is now son to Yedepo. Relevant by association. Relevant by association. Stay tuned. You hear more. They be using their own mouth to expose themselves. I will be using that to educate the gullibles that still believe this man has something to offer. No, they have nothing to offer you. It's all about money. You. Relevant by association. You remember? BRG always telling you that relevant by association. By their fruit, we shall know them. Why will uh, the other one um, Joshua, Joshua Sema, go to the extent of buying Oyedepo's church mandates. <laughs> I watched the video, I watched the video, I said, ah, let me use this video to educate my people. Stay tuned to the end. This is now divine ability. Divine what? This man will not be able to stand when I put this on him. You'll be shocked. Now, God places this his ability like this. Look at it. Bring it. Put it in my hand. God places his own nature. That's the blessing on you like this. Just watch. Just watch what will happen. Do you see now? Now. Man of God. When God wants to change your story. He puts his endowment. So if you enter an office, you enter anywhere. You touch one naira, it becomes ten naira, ten, hundred, hundred, two hundred, one thousand, one billion. Now from today, you are blessed in the name of Jesus. Now if this man is blessed, now all of you stand. I want to demonstrate. Bless. No, not all of you. Just in front. All of you in front stand. I'm going to show you practically what the blessing is. You go without the blessing. Now walk from there to this place. Now, for instance, look at him. He's on his own. Look at him. He went. That is the president. That is the governor. That is the minister. Just walk on your walk past. Walk. Just walk fast. To walk, walk for seven days, not to show. This is. You see the nonsense that he was doing there, and the mumu were falling. He's only working on their minds, though. You know that Isaac Oyedekpo too did the same thing. I've done a video about it. He took off his jacket 
and he put it on one of the university, uh, Convener University students. That's what they are doing. You know, all these conferences they go, all these father, um, um, what do they call it? Pastors' conferences and all that. That's what they are learning there. That's what they are teaching them. You know, you depose place starting from the day of Idaosa and all that. All these uh, American preachers and all of them, that's all the gimmicks. That's what they are learning. Um, you know, this one that was casted told us that it's all gimmickry. Uh, Benny, he told us, he said it's gimmickry. And everything is about money. You see how he ended it? It's, he ended it with money. You have to give them money. And he will bra see the way he will be bragging in the next video now. He brought out one million. I gave one million dollars when I had no building of my own. I'm going say here. If I was to lead my name would have been lead first. Before even David and the rest. All people talking about the technology, they better do what I did. Nobody's qualified to criticize me on prosperity until you do what I've done. You can get angry, I don't care. I gave God one million dollars when I had no house. I didn't put God. Then God said, good boy. Good boy. Now, whether you like it or not, I am going to bless you. If you think it's easy, go and give your money. One million dollars. God said, boy, you will never be broke. And I'm one of the wealthiest preachers on earth. <laughs> of course, when he tells his congregation, they will be motivated to drop their own money. Both the first check and the second check are all going here to his account. And the one that they will now be motivated to drop. They are just using drama to manipulate. How will someone who owns the world, the cattle upon a thousand years belong to him, be moved by one million or five million? I think sometimes it's ignorance on the part of the preacher, and some other times it is manipulation. Unfortunately, Izuwa is doing the same thing now. He's telling his member that he gave his father NHA money and money plenty in his account. That's what they are doing. It's all manipulation. Stay tuned. I have no regret for any aspect of my life. I was going to be 70. I have no regret for any aspect of my life. That is a fallacy. <laughs> that is a big lie. If you believe what you call, you see people who were clapping there because they've used their head. Everyone in life, including the queen and king of England, we all have regrets in life. When you see them dancing like this, that's like the fallacy's wife. Oh. Know that something is burning. Something is burning. They have to keep coming out, looking stronger and stronger. Now lie you. Don't let anybody lie to you. Stop believing in them. Oh, they are all liar. They are all human. They are passing through everything you are passing through in life. They too are passing through the same thing. But they have to be saying that for people to think they are superwoman. My people wake up. I will draw the curtain with this. I want you to, I want you to know God for yourself. And that's what I'm advocating. And I will see you on my next video. Bye for now.